Hello. Come in. Here? In here, yeah. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Sasha Vizenkov, you are the EuroLeague MVP. How does that feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel blessed, first of all, uh, to live this experience with my family, uh, with my team. When I started playing basketball, and, you know, I was dreaming. I was dreaming, but this moment, all these years, you, you're trying to like fight and uh, practicing, and a lot of disappointments. And uh, this give, this award just gives me motivation to continue improve myself and uh, try to reach higher and higher. When I started, like my let's say my yearly career, nothing was easy. You know, new team, uh, new new challenges, really good players. I see what I did wrong. I never tried to find uh, excuses, even though sometimes you know I had excuses, or uh, even though someone maybe didn't was not fair against me. You know, the only thing I was I cared is how I will reach my goal, how I reach to the highest point. There are a lot of good players, a lot of great players in this league, so you have to be mentally prepared that uh, something will not go well, will not go how you want it. Uh, tough moments will come, you know, injuries also is in the, in the game, you know, you, you cannot control everything at 100%, so you have to be uh, mentally tough and you have to have short memory. The moments that uh, I was down and I wanted to quit, uh, and uh, I thought that uh, I, I didn't like I didn't deserve what they were giving me, but I couldn't I couldn't do anything because that was my spot to fight and to be like to have nerves and like to be nervous is the only easy thing nowadays. But I will say to my younger like self like good job that you never give up and you're here now. I was uh, with Sasha also in Barcelona for one year. Very soon I realized his potential and his talent. He was really young when he was in Barca and I was in Barca. He's so humble, you know, with the way he approached basketball and he approached life. But um, I'm really proud of him, you know, and I think he deserves it. He doesn't have the behavior of a typical star in basketball. I had a lot of them in the past with the different um, characteristics, you know. Sasa is a completely different uh, person. He's not a typical star, but he's a star with the way he plays, but he's not a star, uh, star with the way he behaves uh, all the other um, uh, time of the, of the day. The coach saw the potential in me, so it was his work to put me in the system and to make also uh, my teammates trust on what I can do. So to the whole organization I, I owe a lot because they helped me from the, from the beginning to uh, success and like to succeed and to perform well. I try to work hard so to prove that the, uh, all this he giving me I want to give him back and to show that the trust he showing me is uh, I have to I have to play well also for him you know because he gave me the everything like to to succeed and I had to work hard to do it. I have the method the method will be the same you know practicing and work out and improve more my game and uh, only God know what will go on but uh, for me like the recipe is the same. I want a trophy. We know that every team wants a trophy. That's why they're, they're, they're here too. So for me uh, to finish uh, this season with the EuroLeague trophy will be something like, even if I dream like I never believe it can happen. So we'll give everything on the Friday's game against Monaco. Uh, and hopefully we're leaving from here with a smile.